Driving through congested traffic on the way to a job that doesn't pay enough money is frustrating. See what I mean? But you don't have to do this anymore. There are tons of high paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. In fact, I made over $300,000 last year working from home, which completely blows my mind. And in this video, I found 10 of the highest paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. So first up at number 10 is video editor. This job pays anywhere from $30,000 to $101,000 per year with the median salary sitting around $50,000. And as a freelance video editor, you can earn well over $100,000 per year because you have the freedom to get paid what you want. For example, I started editing my own videos around a year ago. However, most of the previous videos on my channel were edited by a freelancer who I hired on Upwork. He helped me out tremendously when I first got started on YouTube and he earned over $26,000 on my freelance project. As a video editor, your job is to help content creators and businesses turn their raw camera footage into videos using software like Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. You don't need a college degree to get started, but it does take time and consistent repetition to become a good video editor. I personally learned everything I know about video editing for free right here on YouTube. If you're looking for a job that requires little to no experience, then becoming a transcriptionist could be a great job for you. This job pays anywhere from $36,000 to $70,000 per year, with a median salary around $44,000. And as a freelance transcriptionist, you can earn anywhere from $20 to $40 an hour on Upwork. Another great option is a website called Rev.com, which is an online transcription service that connects customers with freelancers. And you can make anywhere from $100 to over $300 hundred dollars per day depending on how long you've been on the platform and how much effort that you put into it. The job duties of a transcriptionist involve listening to audio recordings and then typing what you hear into text format on your computer. This means you need to have the ability to type quickly and accurately when producing transcriptions. However, this is one of the easiest work from home jobs that you can get started with today. Thumbnail designer is one of the fastest growing jobs in the creator economy. This job pays anywhere from $30,000 to $80,000 per year, with many designers making over $200 per thumbnail, like 19-year-old Dil Toma. Hey, yo, what is good, everybody? It's Dylan. I'm back with another video. He was offered a full-time thumbnail design position at a media company after graduating from high school, but turned it down to work from home as a freelancer. He now earns around $6,000 per month, working with some of the biggest creators on YouTube, like Anthony Padilla, Matthew Beam, and Eric, which is absolutely mind blowing to me because at 19 years old, I was in college working part-time as a cashier at Kroger and I was making around $9 an hour. So how is a 19 year old making over $70,000 a year right out of high school? He said something in a Business Insider article which I thought was very powerful. Your network is your net worth. Dill consistently shares his work on social media platforms like Twitter and has built a lot of great connections. I personally work with two thumbnail designers for my YouTube channel and I found them both on Twitter. They both have great portfolios showcasing examples of their work and that's why I hired them. You will need to learn Photoshop or similar software and also learn what grabs people's attention on YouTube. And this notion list of thumbnail designers will help you get started. Becoming a tech support specialist is in my opinion, the easiest way to get started in the tech industry. This job will pay you anywhere from $38,000 to $81,000 per year with a median salary around $54,000 per year. And and after you have three to five years of experience, then you can apply for support engineer jobs and these jobs pay over $100,000 a year. And on Upwork, you can earn anywhere from $20 to $50 an hour. The job duties of a tech support specialist include fixing computer and software issues. You also need to have strong communication, problem solving, and troubleshooting skills as well. So this was actually my first job in the tech industry and I made around $50,000 a year. From my experience, documentation skills are underrated for this job. Pretty much every company has a ticketing system for tracking progress on support issues. So work on your writing skills because that will help you stand out when applying for these jobs. You don't need a college degree for this job, but I definitely recommend getting certifications. 
Regarding certifications, I recommend the CompTIA A Plus certification. It's a well-known certification that's been around for a long time. And Google has an IT support professional certificate that will cost you $39 per month until you complete the courses. Search engine optimization or SEO specialists are responsible for helping content like blogs and articles rank higher on search engines like Google. This job will pay you anywhere from $37,000 to $67,000 a year with the median salary around $40,000 $9,000 a year. And as a freelance SEO specialist, you can earn anywhere from $50 to $150 an hour on Upwork. So when content creators or businesses post content online, they wanted to rank on the first page of Google. And your job as an SEO specialist is to help them do that. To become an SEO specialist, the main skills you need to learn are keyword research, how to analyze competitors, on-page SEO, and link building. And to help you get started, I recommend SEMrush, which in my opinion, has the best SEO tools available. They also have SEMrush Academy with tons of free SEO training as well. However, in my opinion, the best way to gain experience is by actually doing the work. You can use a web host like Hostinger to create a blog and then apply your learning by trying to rank your content on the first page of Google. Animators bring illustrations to life using frame-by-frame -frame images that are either stop-motion, hand-drawn, or computer-generated. This job will pay you anywhere from $39,000 to $90,000 per year with a median salary around $58,000 a year. And as a freelance animator, you can earn anywhere from $30 to over $100 an hour on Upwork. So the background behind me is actually an illustration of my home office and farm that was animated. The animator sketched out my idea and then animated the art to give it life. And I think I paid around $2,000 for this animation to give you an idea of pricing. You don't need a college degree to become an animator, but you do need a great portfolio that showcases your abilities and certifications from reputable courses. Some of the highest rated programs that I found are Animation Mentor, NM School, and CG Spectrum. These platforms offer high quality courses on 2D animation, 3D animation, stop motion, and more. It's safe to say that most companies would not exist without customers. As a user experience or UX designer, your job is to develop websites and applications that are easy for customers to use. This job will pay you anywhere from $53,000 to $110,000 per year with a median salary around $76,000 per year. And as a freelance UX designer, you can earn anywhere from $50 an hour to $150 an hour on Upwork. So UX designers analyze user experience looking at the behavior and habits of people to make their experience better. One of my friends on Twitter is a UX designer working in the Web3 industry, and the main tool that he uses for UX design is called Figma, which you can get started with for free. My friend also said that his two favorite websites to get inspiration and take courses are Awards and Dribbble. Regarding other courses, Introduction to User Experience Design is free, and it has a lot of great reviews. To get a UX design job, you will also need a great portfolio that showcases examples of your work. On Upwork, you will find tons of UX designers that you can get inspiration from. Database administrators or DBAs ensure that databases are fast, reliable, secure, and always backed up. This job is ranked in the top 10 best tech jobs and will pay you anywhere from $71,000 to over $125,000 a year with a median salary of around $98,000. And for those of you that don't know, this is my job. I've made over $800,000 on Upwork as a freelance DBA. Before that, I was a senior DBA at a Fortune 500 company and my salary was around $113,000 a year. Although I do have a bachelor's degree, you don't need one for this job. I learned everything I know about database administration after college. As I mentioned earlier, my first job was an entry-level tech support position. I worked harder than everyone else on my team and consistently closed the most support tickets. So when I set up a meeting with my manager to discuss my career goals to become a DBA, I had leverage. A lot of people want things to happen overnight and underestimate the power of working your way up at a company. However, I also recommend that you get a certification, especially if you want to apply for junior DBA jobs. Now, there are different database platforms, but the one that I work with is called Microsoft SQL Server. And the best certification in my opinion is the Azure Database Administrator Associate. The training is free and the exam cost is around $165. And be sure to look at job descriptions and start making checklists of things that you need to learn. 
Web developers develop websites using programming languages like JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, and Python. But don't let that scare you. It's really easy to get started using WordPress and custom themes, which don't require coding knowledge. In fact, I built my entire website using WordPress and a custom theme, and I know very little HTML and CSS. This job will pay you anywhere from $55,000 to $107,000 a year, with a median salary around $77,000. But in my opinion, Opinion, freelance web development is where the real money is. On Upwork, you can earn anywhere from $50 to $190 an hour, and you can learn tons of web development for free right here on YouTube. Brad Traversy is the goat of web development on YouTube, and his channel is a great place for you to get started. Information Security Analyst is ranked as one of the 10 fastest growing jobs projected through 2031 by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. It's also ranked as the number one best job by U.S. News for 2022 and tons of other publications as well. This job will pay you anywhere from $78,000 a year all the way to $133,000 a year with a median salary around $103,000 a year. And as a freelancer, you can earn anywhere from $60 to $165 an hour on Upwork. So as an information security analyst, your job is to protect companies from data breaches and cyber attacks as well. You don't need a college degree to get a job as an information security analyst, but you will need certifications. The most popular and reputable certification to get started with is the CompTIA Security Plus certification. It's an entry level certification that will help you obtain the core skills needed for a cybersecurity job. And as you gain work experience, then you will meet the requirements for more prestigious certifications like the Certified Information System Security Professional or CISP. In this day and age, there are two types of companies in the world, those that have been hacked and know it, and those that have been hacked and don't know it. Good information security analysts are paid very well and have tons of opportunities waiting for them. And in this video, I found 10 of the highest paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. Oh, shit. And in this video, I found 10 of the highest paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. Oh, shit. And in this video, I found 10 of the highest paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. And in this video, I found 10 of the highest paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. Oh, sh I'm probably gonna cut that part out.